Hi lovely souls, my name is Samantha James. Today we have a pick a card for you and it's gonna be who am I gonna date next? We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Now, if you're new to pick a cards, what you're gonna do is figure out which pile or crystal you are drawn to. You're gonna go down below in the description box and look for your timestamp. And this pick a card is, um going to be really fun because we have this little pendulum and we're going to do a bunch of little swings and, you know, pull a lot of cards and stuff. Okay. So I will see you guys at your reading. If you like to pick your pile with your crystal, now is your chance to do so. We have pile number one with the rose quartz, pile number two with the selenite, pile number three with rose quartz again, and pile number four with pink opal. Hi, pile number one. If you chose this really pretty um, pink opal. This reading is for you. So who are you going to date next? To start, we have Temperance. Gorgeous. And we have the Nine of Cups. Gorgeous. Okay, and I just wanted to let you know, later we're going to like pull something from the pendulum figure out you know what their eye color is and then we're also going to figure out um some dates and stuff when this person is going to come in okay let's get into it so with temperance here i see that this person is going to be very um very caring in um i don't want to say an emotional way but they will carry a lot of emotional maturity i'm seeing um, a lot of wisdom, a lot of um, experience. Um, they're just going to be very mature. And, you know, that might be, that might differ from your usual type. Not saying that you, like, date people that are immature, but just, you know, it's probably going to be a breath of fresh air I'm getting for you guys. Um, with the Nine of Cups, I also see that they're going to be very sincere. Um, you know, they're going to come in, they're going to um, communicate, they're going to come in with an offer, they're going to just really fulfill you emotionally. And um, that's really beautiful energy, you guys, group number one. I kind of want to adjust the camera, I'm not going to lie, because I'm like yelling right now. <laughs> okay. This person could um, be older, but there's also, you know, a graphic of a younger person. So I'm almost getting that as just like, they're going to be very mature. Um, and I think they're also going to be very forward with you about their feelings and about what they're looking for and what they want. And that's going to be very refreshing to you. I'm just really seeing refreshing. Um, this person could also quite possibly be an empath um, and or someone that is um, very spiritual. Um, they, could some, they could also be someone that like comes from... Um, some kind of background, some like prestigious or royal background. I don't know. I'm just getting that vibe. You feel me? So let's pull some Oracle. You know, I, I didn't want to um, pre shuffle all the Oracle because I feel like you guys, you know, don't believe me that these cards actually come out in conjunction with the tarot. But there's just like, you know, I really do focus on the energies and I do ultimately think it's you know the messages that you guys need to hear but I just wanted to do all the oracles like in front of you so you know that these things aren't really meant for you so we're going to be thinking about and asking about the next person you're going to date group number one which so far you know so good they also might um have this like sorry side note <laughs> they also might have this kind of like um tall dark and handsome vibe about them you know okay so let's pull some cards here see and then I don't want to like shake the camera here there's a lot going on you know <laughs> a lot of concerns I have here okay who is this person and then cards fall on the floor it's like a whole thing that's why I like <laughs> pre-shuffling but you know I just want to show you guys kind of like the magic because like sometimes I'm just like damn I wish this was on camera we have forgiveness Oof, this one flew out and big happy changes okay 
So forgiveness and big happy changes. I think that's pretty, um, you know, that kind of says it itself. I think this person is a big happy change. They're going to be a big happy change. I don't think that you're used to people, you know, you might be used to people ha like feeling this nine of cups energy with you, but they don't like tell you about it I'm getting they're not very straightforward about it they maybe they like um are usually emotionally unavailable um that kind of thing and just a side note that I'm getting with forgiveness I'm almost feeling like um you know if you've had a tendency and this only applies to the people you know who have but if you've had a tendency to kind of go towards people that are emotionally unavailable um you might want to um, do some like forgiveness prayers or work on some kind of um, past resentment thing. Just letting go, releasing kind of exercises because, you know, within my own experience, I feel like I cling to people that are emotionally unavailable just simply because I'm emotionally unavailable <laughs> and it just like is easier, you know, it just makes sense. And I'm emotionally unavailable because of my, you know, it's really hard for me to forgive people. It's something that I have to work on extra hard um, so that you guys can really manifest. And I feel like that's really going to happen for you. But yeah, so the person that's coming into your dating life, um, I do think that it's going to be a very positive thing. Um, yeah, we have purpose here. I know what I am here to do. So you could might even, you might even feel like this person might be your soulmate, someone that you could end up with. This could be the person that you end up with, the person that you get married to. Let's shuffle. Okay, we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So yeah, I think this person is going to be very adaptable. Um, I think you guys are going to also like adapt together and transform together. I'm just getting this vibe of very, um, of a very long lasting kind of very healthy relationship. Oh my gosh. And we have love. Yeah. You know, just lots of love I'm seeing. So, oh my God, no freaking way. Okay. Okay. I don't <laughs> want to keep pulling these cards, but we have trust here. So, wow. The person that you guys are going to date next group number one is definitely worth your while. I mean, big happy changes for sure. This person could be like your soulmate, your life partner, your purpose here. And I think like they're really going to open up your heart with this change in, um, you know, forgiving and learning and receiving. And they're really going to show you what real love and real trust is. And it's because, you know, like I said, they have that, um, they have that emotional maturity. So I just want to make some room here, you guys. But we're going to pull some more cards. Sorry, I'm like on the edge right now because I'm, there's like a part of me that doesn't want this tripod to knock down. So let's see what astrology sign this person might be or, you know, something similar to that. What kind of energies we got going on here for the person that you're going to date next, group number one. Ooh. Okay, well, they just love to fly on the floor okay so we have Aries Ooh, they're coming in and they're coming in hot we have Virgo so you know how the drill goes you could be a Virgo this person could be a Virgo could be an Aries this person could be an Aries or you guys could just have those types of placements in your chart okay so wow so the person that you're gonna date next group number one is someone that um, you know, is just going to really transform your life in a very positive way, I'm seeing. Um, they're going to be someone that really takes care of your heart, really kind of shows you um, what trust is. Oof. We have self-confidence through God confidence. So yeah, I see them as being very spiritual, as someone that's very like adaptable in general. Um, someone that is going to kind of lead you into the light and like allow you to stay there, increase support, someone that's going to support you, you know, um, through thick and thin. Maybe you guys are used to people that don't really like stick around, um, through the changes and stuff, but this per this person is going to be your soulmate and they're really going to, um, 
I think they're going to recognize that right away. You know, up front, I'm saying that this person is really going to understand that you guys have like a soul connection here and um, that this is really like worth like exploring. There's just going to be this bond I'm seeing. So I'm going to pull some more tarot cards. I do see this person as being like very handsome, whether they're young or older. We have the star. Wow. Beautiful. I'm super new to this deck. So we have the star. So yeah, I do see them as someone that's going to really um, put you on a pedestal. They're really going to admire you. They're really going to just know is like this feeling I'm getting. They're just really going to know like off the top that you know, you guys are like meant to be, they're going to be like, oh, there's my person. And whether you recognize that at first, um, this person definitely will, they're going to have this like inner trust. And, you know, I do see them as teaching you, um, how to like forgive and how to, um, adapt to situations. We have the king of wands. So this person, you know, could be very handsome. Like I said, whether they're younger or older, um, someone that is very like pragmatic, pragmatic and dutiful and um you know um king of wands can also be they can also be like workaholics but there are people that are very sound they can be like very good kind of arbitrators and stuff so I do see this person as being um very balanced I see them as someone that can make very fair decisions I mean with temperance obviously but they're gonna treat your relationship the same way like they're going to kind of see you as the star and they're gonna put you on a pedestal but they're really ultimately going to um, make you feel very good about yourself you know with increased support here I see them as like being the increased support like maybe you're not um, maybe you're not accustomed to that maybe you're not used to um, people helping you out maybe you're the one that's always helping people out or however it resonates but um this person is really going to go out of their way to make you feel um just make you feel loved and it's really going to kind of renew your faith almost um but I do see them as someone that's very handsome to the point where they're like kind of flashy like whether they're trying to or not, they definitely catch people's eye. We have the Knight of Wheels. So yeah, I mean, this person, like I said, when they first meet you, they're going to just have this inner knowing that like you're their person. They're going to have like passion for you right away and they're going to feel like you know, I want to come in and I want to offer this person something, whether they have it or not. Um, you know, it's like I'm kind of seeing symbolic to whether you meet them um, in a place that's like they're kind of in their younger state or not. Like they're still going to offer you something. They're still going to expect you to grow with them, whether they're younger or older, like grow in any any and every kind of way, shape or form I'm getting. Okay, so we're going to spin the wheel here and um, we're going to kind of figure out <laughs> what um, color eyes they have. I'm not going to do hair because it's like, it's, it, you know, it just totally ranges and stuff. So whatever hair you can imagine, I mean, I'm almost getting like, it could you, like literally could be anything. Like it could be brown, it could be white, <laughs> it could be ginger or blonde. Okay, but we're gonna we are gonna do eyes and then we are gonna do little um time stamps like when this person is gonna come in and stuff. Okay. So for group number one, what color eyes does their person or the person they're gonna date next have? Was that too, was that like too complicated of a question? Okay. Um for group number one, what color eyes does the person they're going to date next have? Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have hazel black. So it's like, I, it's kind of like the in-between colors. So they could be hazel. I'm getting strongly that they're going to be hazel. Okay. 
And now we're going to um, take these off <laughs> and put on different stickies. I didn't really think this one out here. <laughs> I swear to God, you know, like, honestly, I don't know which video I'm going to post first, but I definitely have two at the moment, this one and another one. Um, but you guys are probably going to think I'm losing my mind and I like low key M, but I'm too, like, I'm kind of going through it, but I'm a little too, you know, shy to talk about it, <laughs> but I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay. So are you going to meet this person in one month, two weeks, six months, or three months? I don't know why those are the categories. It could be sooner, you guys, but like, you know, it, it, it is just like a pendulum I got from Amazon. <laughs> okay, so group number one, the person you're going to date next, are you going to meet them in two weeks, a month, six months, or three months? <laughs> three months. <laughs> okay. So the pendulum says three months, you guys. Um, I wonder if I can double confirm that. I, how can I double confirm that? Um, hmm. you guys, I'm, I'm like, you don't understand how many books I read on tarot. Like, oh, so many books. I like, it's to the point I say, ugh, because it's like, I'm doing private readings. I'm doing this. Don't get me wrong. I freaking love it. And I could talk about how much I love it all day long, but I'm just saying like, um, I, I do like the readings and then I'm doing Patreon and I'm doing this. And it's just like so many different things. And in my dreams, like when I'm sleeping, I'm literally, literally doing tarot. <laughs> Like I'm literally doing tarot in my dreams. So, and then if I'm not doing any of those things, I'm reading about tarot. And if I'm not reading about tarot, I'm watching tarot. <laughs> okay. That's that I'm crazy. So yeah, I guess we've established she's losing it. Um, no, but seriously guys, I'm reading a book right now about numerology. So I'll, I'll get into that in relation to tarot and what we could maybe start digging into like the possibility of like, you know, reading tarot like dates and frames like when are you guys going to meet type of thing let me pull some um moonology oracle cards here just because i love them communication is key so yeah you know with this person that you're going to date i just see them as being like very mature very emotional mature and they're not going to like you know i don't know if they're going to be very like um understanding or they're going to stand for um ghosting and not being communicative and like upfront about how you feel and stuff like this person is going to expect that maturity back show the world the real you and I also think that they're really going to um, inspire you guys to the point where you're going to want to get back out there um, not saying that you're not out there like oh I'm not out there and not get back out there in like a single way but just like they're going to really help you feel like the star here. They're going to make you really feel like the way they see you. And, you know, because the king of wands, you know, he's picky and like he has high standards because he knows he's the shit. Like he's very cocky. So, you know, you're kind of going to be like this person's muse, um, the next person you date. And there's going to be like a lot of um, emotional fulfillment there. And that's really freaking beautiful. Okay, group number one. So I hope you like that sort of thing. Um, please comment down below. Let me know if it resonated. Don't forget to like or dislike and subscribe. And right now I am booking private readings. So if you want to go down in my description box below and send me a little email, I will work out the rest for you. Love you guys. Bye. Hi, group number two. If you chose this rose quartz, this is for you. Who is the next person you are going to date? So we have the eight of wheels and the nine of wands. Okay. So group number two, 
The person that you're going to date next is going to be a very hard worker, clearly, with the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, this dude is just working away. It's so funny, actually, because, like, I almost decided to do this reading with this deck because of this image. I was like, oh, my God, he's such a hard worker. <laughs> I was like, he's so cute. Love him. Um, yeah, but I do see this person as being a very hard worker and they're also very abundant. You know, they have a lot to give, a lot to offer. They have a lot of stability and it's because they work so hard. Like we see this girl here and she's like in this beautiful lavish clothing with this gorgeous rooster. <laughs> like I don't understand her story, but I like, you know, I feel her. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the eight of wands and the nine of Oh, I mean, the eight of wheels and the nine of wheels, which are pentacles, basically. It's just like this person works hard for what they have and what they got. It's pretty self-standard, you know, but it's gorgeous energy here. Um, this person could also be fair skinned and be blonde, I'm seeing, or have really light hair. Um, if they are a male, they're, you know, very, they're going to be very muscular. And then if they are a female... They're going to be very um, short. <laughs> I'm saying they're going to be short, but still cute nonetheless. Um, someone that has a lot to give. And the Nine of Pentacles is going to be a solid foundation. It's going to be a solid offer that this person is going to give to you. They're going to actually want to put in the work when it comes to you in this relationship. It's not new to them to do things like that. So we're going to um, pull from the Oracle. I wanted to do pulls on the Oracle in front of you guys because, you know, like I want you guys to see the magic. Literally, I do so many like pick a cards and these cards just pop out and they really do synchronize with the tarot. And it's like unbelievable, the synchronicity. And so, you know, in case no one believes me, like I want you to know that everything's going to correspond. And so we're going to do it right in front of you, basically. Woo! We already got cards popping out. Okay. So, group number two. This person they're going to date next. Ooh, we have big happy changes again. Group number one got the same thing. Thing. that is so funny oof we have ask your angels and get more information okay okay so let me adjust this okay so ask your angels and get more information so well here we are getting more information we're gonna pull some more tarot but first I want to um, yeah, actually, let's pull some more tarot right now. Figure out what's going on. Who is the person? Ooh, well, hello. <laughs> that shit just flew out. So we have the hermit. Maybe this person is going to be very um, introverted, I'm getting. They're going to, um, you know, it's like almost like they're going to be very independent as well. Like not only are they going to be very hardworking, but they're going to like expect um, space or maybe um, space is part of their hard work and why they work so hard. We have the world and the ace of pentacles, ace of wheels. Okay. Wow. Look at this beautiful world card gorgeous so yeah this person you know like this is actually really beautiful this person that you're going to date next group number two is someone that really works hard to set a proper foundation to give you everything that you want and um even though mo I guess what I'm trying to say is even though like most of the reason they're working so hard and doing this is for you to lay down this proper foundation at the very same time it's kind of for them you know like they like to work hard and they um it, it like helps them have like alone time so that they can go inward it's kind of like their own spiritual time I'm not gonna lie but with the ace of pentacles it's like this person is really gonna come and offer you like a stable um commitment here and they're really gonna want to give you the world and kind of 
have a world with you in it. You know, it's like I see this person as being kind of like the lone wolf. Like they don't mind being alone with the hermit and they're not going to like, you know, not be alone and settle for someone that is like ridiculous. You know, they're not the type to like just jump into like a relationship or into a fling or whatever because it's like fun and convenient. Like if they're going to do that, they're going to be very committed about the whole thing. I'm seeing a lot of earth energy Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So what is your person? Woes. Oh my God. Didn't I just say this? Loneliness. So it's like, you know, and I know that I'm never alone. It's like this person does have a, it's almost like they also have a very strong spiritual foundation. Cause it's like, even when they, you know, are alone and they don't mind being alone, they're like hermit mode alone. Like they don't actually feel alone empathy. I'm open to seeing, to seeing both sides of the situation. I see this person also as being very balanced, you know. Um, maybe if you guys were to get into arguments, I don't really see that happening, but if you were to get into arguments, like, this person would be very empathetic. They'd be very understanding. Maybe, like, in the past you were with people that, um, you know, didn't made you feel less than human and didn't treat you right and kind of, like, in certain situations when you were vulnerable, they would just kind of like pry on you. And, and I see that as like something that's just not going to happen anymore. This person's really going to take care of your heart and like hold you in a really high regard um, and really see you as like this, like, you know, either feminine or masculine, but divine of the world, you know? Okay, so we have Leo here. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. So you could be a Leo or this person could have like Leo in their chart, just very like loving and giving energy. Um, Leos are very known for being um, givers. They could have like a Leo moon or something like that. Um, but I do see them more as being someone that could quite possibly be, oh my God, an earth sign. We have Virgo. And then we have the fifth house where you have fun, romance, and creative things you are proud of. So, yeah, this person's really going to want to, like, offer a commitment to you. They're not going to, like, want to fuck around for too long because, like I said earlier, they don't just date people to date, you know? It's, it's like, not a hobby for them. Like, if they're, they rather work, like, if they're going to date someone, um, that person better be a part of their future and their life. Okay, and we have cards dropping on the floor. So we have life-changing epiphany or experience. So it's like, I think this person is also going to be kind of like um, a soulmate to you guys. They're really going to come in and um, with wellness and just like, you know, treat you right and hold you to a really high regard. Um, put you kind of on a, yeah, and then we have divine life purpose. So with life-changing epiphany or experience, this person's really going to put you on a pedestal, put your heart on a pedestal. They're going to really take care of it. And this is really healing energy that I'm feeling right now. Um, <clears throat> this is really beautiful energy, you guys, group number two. It's like this person is probably your soulmate or, yeah, and I don't even see this being like karmic or twin flame. If it's karmic, it's in like a way where you guys kind of have known each other in other lives, but it's very like high vibrational is what I'm seeing. It's very mature. Um, so was the last group. I'm very proud of you guys. Like you guys are just unlocking and manifesting these really great men for like a second there. I was starting to, I was starting to think I was like, damn, like, wh like, wh is it just me? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on out there? Like, what the fuck is up with these men or women, however it resonates, but just the energies, you know, just like what's going on. And I really see a lot of people, no matter what you identify with, as just kind of like unlocking this new um, part of your life here. So we're going to pull some from the Moonology Oracle deck, and then we're going to do your little pendulum swing here. Woo. We have bring love into the situation conclusions are within reach okay so maybe you guys have been waiting for this person or um yeah but I just see this person as being very like loving in general you know they're going to be someone that is going to put a lot of 
um, love into the situation and towards you and offer you something really solid. Um, <clears throat> They're kind of mysterious as well, I'm seeing. Sorry. Slippery. <laughs> when they're new, they're slippery. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Chariot. You know, part of me kind of is getting this vibe. Yeah, I'm kind of getting this vibe that this person... With bring love into the situation, it's like, I'm getting this vibe that this person is kind of, um, you know, maybe they, not like, I don't want to say a loner, that's so mean, but someone that might struggle with depression or someone that like, um, might have struggled with depression in the past, might have struggled with like thoughts of suicide, that kind of thing. And so with bring love into the situation, it's like, I feel like they're going to really treat you right and really put a lot of love towards you because it's like they know how it feels um, to not get that reciprocated or get that back or be given. And they're going to really make sure that they don't do that to you because they've been in the dark and they don't want you or someone they love to ever feel that way. And they've, they've already come to that conclusion before they've met you. You know, you're just going to be the lucky um, soulmate of theirs that gets gets the fruits of their labors because like I said like they don't just like offer this shit to anybody and like yes they're gonna offer it to you with the chariot um I do see them as being like at the end of the day like all feelings aside of like feeling kind of unworthy with the five of cups um I do see that like someone has broken their heart and um there was a lot of mistrust there and this person might have thought that this that person was their soulmate or you know maybe they've the, another scenario is they could feel like they've been waiting for their soulmate you know so when they finally meet you they're gonna make sure that they give you what you need right away they're gonna be very clear about their intentions with the chariot um <clears throat> and this person in general with like conclusions are within reach i'm just getting that they're like a problem solver you know not just a problem solver, but they're like a doer. And that's really rare. I feel like people aren't, you know, they don't have integrity anymore and they don't do what they say they're going to do. We have the four of swords. So yeah, I think this person is just, they're still going to have, um, you know, although they're going to rush in and offer you this commitment, they're still going to have um, thoughts of like insecurity or feeling like not good enough because of um, their past and they might retreat or they might take like a rest and like I'm just really getting that that's going to be a little difficult for you guys if they do retreat um, because maybe you guys yourself <coughs> deal with trust issues or just in general you've had bad experience with that kind of stuff but it's like I'm seeing that's going to be a necessary thing in the relationship and it's going to be a, an actual thing that happens and it's like not to take offense to it. It's just this person really wants to come to you with this like boldness and they really want to be like the divine. So whether it's the masculine or feminine, they really want to fulfill that role. And like, <clears throat> I'm just saying that they really want to um, like if they're feeling down, they're going to experience those emotions somewhere else and then come back to you. They're not going to like put you through what they feel. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Whew. Wow, that was intense. Sorry, I know I haven't been so funny the last few days, but, I, you know, man, I've been going through it myself, you guys. What can I say? But I wanted to <laughs> crack out this video for you because it's so fun. And we have this little pendulum. So we're going to figure out, you know, when this person is going to come in for you, you guys. Okay, so <clears throat> we have two weeks, one month, three months, and six months. Okay. So, and, um, then we're going to figure out what color the eyes they have. So when is this person for group number two coming in and how many, um, you know, how long is this person going to come that they're going to date next?
two weeks. <laughs> okay, freaking awesome. So this person is literally going to come into your life in two weeks. I'm screaming. Okay, what? Um, so you have to let me know <laughs> in two weeks, okay, if this person comes in because I'm that's so amazing. That's like really, this is a really going to be a great thing for you guys. Group number two, this is really going to be great. So as you can see with the cards, this person could have literally any color hair. We have like an older guy with white hair. We have a young dude with blonde hair. We have an emo type dude with black hair. We literally have a dude with a brown beard. And then we have like Literally, he could look like anyone, group number two. So we're going to do his eyes. And then again, he could also have any color eyes. But <laughs> we're just going to do this for fun. Okay. So group number two, what color eyes is their person going to have? Oh my god group number one got the same one hazel or black that's so funny you guys you know it can be different as well it doesn't have to be hazel or black but it can be interchangeable but anyway i hope you guys like that sort of reading please comment down below and let me know if that resonated or if this person is currently in your life um like or dislike don't forget to subscribe and right now i am booking private reading so just shoot me an email the description is in um it's in the description box below i'm clearly losing my shit you guys but book a reading anyway because your girl's great and i do have a great turnover time under 12 hours okay um <laughs> so yeah but i just wanted to say i love y'all okay bye Hi, group number three. If you chose this heart selenite, this is for you. Who are you going to date next? So to start, we have the fool. It's such a beautiful image. We have the empress. Oh my God. Love this. And we have the emperor. Oh my God. I'm going crazy. Okay. So the Empress and the Emperor. Wow. So whether you're the divine or feminine, I mean, you're the divine feminine or masculine watching this doesn't matter. Um, you're going to find your divine masculine or feminine. You're going to find your other half, your counterpart, your equal. That's who you're going to date next. And you're going to like walk into this new beginning here. And this person's really going to respect you. I'm seeing, you know, I'm going to do this both ways because I do realize I have, you know, every type of viewer out there. So if you are the feminine watching this, um, the person that you're going to date next is really going to be, um, you know, they could actually be older. They're going to be very wise. Um, they're going to be very stable. Um, they might be an Aries quite literally. Um, but the emperor is someone who, um, you know, they don't settle for less. So they're definitely going to know right away that you're their divine counterpart. Um, and they're going to really just kind of leap into this. I'm seeing with the fool, they're really just going to want to like jump right in and we're going to pull from the pendulum, um, as well and kind of get a time frame on everything, um, after we do your cards here. But yeah, I see them being, um, maybe there's like an age gap and I'm not saying like, oh, they're old, you know, it could be like five years, 10 years type of thing. Um, low key, I, I see them being very stylish, um, very like manly, very masculine. And, um, for the masculines watching your feminine is going to be very, um, <laughs> feminine, but you know, she, I'm kind of getting like a side note. She might be like a blogger low key, like, <laughs> like on social media, on Instagram, traveling and wearing all these gorgeous clothes type of thing. Like that might be for some of you. Um, she's definitely very gorgeous and takes care of herself very well. Um, and she's also very abundant, you know, like you see her as someone that can be a mother, could be your happy ending, your wife, very maternal. 
And I think there's going to be this respect involved in this relationship that's really special. You know, um, I don't see a lot of with the fool, you know, I kind of get this like it's like you guys are both wise and stable and independent but it's like with the fool within your connection I'm getting that it's going to be very um fresh and youthful and kind of um kind of candorous and candorous in a way that is like very pure um there's not going to be all these blockages like in usual relationships where there's jealousy and envy and um you know and lying and wearing a mask like I see you guys being very honest and very pure with each other and very um grounded in the fact that you guys have each other like i don't think that you guys are going to second guess your loyalty to each other um in this relationship and that's really beautiful for like who you're going to date next like <laughs> damn so i'm going to pull um some oracle and i've been telling all the groups that i want to do it in front of you guys because it's like so much cooler to see the magic happen because the way that the cards synchronize I'm not making that shit up like I am not just pulling whatever looks good we have <laughs> we have a reconsider hmm let's get clarity what are we reconsidering here <laughs> spirit what are we reconsidering Meditation brings answers. Huh. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm like, let's let's watch the magic happen, you guys. Maybe you guys are in a relationship with someone else right now. Oof. We have trust. And yeah, it's like almost like you guys have options maybe. Or maybe like you're going to have options when this person presents themselves in your life if they haven't already and you're like not really gonna believe that like I think they're gonna know right away who you are to them but I don't think you're gonna know um you might even be like yeah distracted we have opportunity so it's like maybe see this person as an opportunity this sounds so bad but this might be a message for you but maybe see this person as an opportunity to get out of whatever you're currently stuck in and that's not the usual spiritual advice that I would give y'all but you know it's like this is your emperor this is like a kind of a once in a lifetime thing and this isn't a reading as casual as like who you'll date so you know I think personally that's a sign that's really special so let's kind of figure out you know what this emperor is about you know um what what sign is he so we already know that he could quite possibly be an Aries. Aries or Taurus. Whoa. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> we have Aries. Yeah. And you know, there's something so, um, loving about Aries they really you know let relationships kind of consume them in a very positive way meaning they're not going to like look in other directions at other people so maybe this person has come into your life and that's why we have reconsidered because you're like turning a blind eye to them or you're not really seeing their value um or you're not seeing the opportunity um but maybe you low-key are you know, and you're just not listening to your intuition. So, um, you know, I don't have that other deck where it would say like, um, uh, your love interest, it might differ from your usual type. I I'm getting that kind of vibe here, but not in a bad way. I still think this guy's fucking gorgeous. It's just like, depending on what you want and what you're looking for. Maybe this guy is too good. And you're like, is this, you know, too good to be true here? And it's like, and yeah, I kind of get that vibe with the fool. It's like, are we, are we headed into some direction that's going to ultimately end up as craziness? You know, like, are we being ignorant? Are we being stupid? But no, you're not. Like, this person's for real. They literally view you as this empress or they view you as this, as this emperor. And this is, like, very solid to them. This is something that they've been looking for. And it's not like you're the empress and they're a knight or page. And it's not like they're the emperor. You're, you know, just, like, 
you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like that. Like you literally are equal to each other. We have the moon here. So it's like, I think that, yeah, I think you're having group number three, a hard time kind of, um, looking at the situation objectively, which is why maybe you need to meditate, like quite literally sis. Um, because the, I just keep hearing like once in a lifetime opportunity. We have divine life purpose. So, I mean, hello. And we have life changing epiphany or experience. These cards usually come together. I don't know why but they just do. I'm going to shuffle for another one because I think that literally it popped out in a different group. <laughs> wow. Passion and purpose. I've had this discussion before where I'm like spirit when he wants to be like obnoxiously in your face. He's so extra. So yes, um, I think you guys are kind of not seeing the situation clearly or you're just like, nah, like there's no way, you know, but for real, there is this person. I think you should give them a chance if they're already in your life. And if they're not, we'll swing for when they, you know, potentially come in. But we have passion and purpose. We have life-changing epiphany or experience and divine life purpose like hello can we get more extra spirit like you wanted a sign here's your fucking sign um this person is your soulmate and on a high vibration too this isn't like some karmic messy twin flame relationship this is actually like um pretty solid like this person is gonna straight away they're gonna offer you a commitment i'm seeing i like that this energy so far like this energy, wow, has been so good. What did I say about offering you commitment straight away? King of wheels, king of pentacles. This guy is going to see you and be like, you're mine. Or, you know, woman, vice versa. And maybe you're not, you know, and that that's really fast paced kind of Aries energy. But maybe you're not like quite used to that. And again, this person could be an earth sign. Um, maybe you like to take things slow or maybe you're just more cautious and, um, Maybe um, if you already have met this person like recently with reconsider, I'm almost saying like, um, you know, not making an action is making an action. I'm getting like inaction is like a decision. So, um, yeah, but this person literally wants a commitment with you. King of Pentacles and the Emperor, like you can't, <laughs> sis. <laughs> You cannot ask for a better combination here when we're talking about who you're going to date next. I mean, this person is very solid. They're emotionally available. They're mature. Um, they're going to, um, yeah, we have the seven of cups. So it's like, maybe you also have a lot of options and you're kind of overlooking this person, but I'm just getting a big sense of um, looking at the situation, not very objectively not very clearly um and we also have the moon so it's kind of like that's the same vibe i was getting was the seven of cups vibe and it's like <clears throat> um another scenario could be that you know you've actually been with this person um in the past and they're coming back around and they're different and they're changed and you're like wait <laughs> what you want what now and so I'm seeing you need to trust that this person is showing you their right face and they're being very honest and that this is actually being divinely guided this is part of your destiny to be with this person and it, in a very happy way too um we have <laughs> we have judgment so you know I think things will balance itself out maybe if you're literally watching this today or tomorrow as I make this in early January, it's like, it's January 9th, you know, there might, this might be like the full moon. Maybe there's been some like miscommunication or maybe you're just looking at things like a little kind of hazy and clouded, not to like call you out or anything. Like I'm, I'm with you, sis. Like I, I go through that too, but it's just like, what's being laid out here is like, <laughs> you know, like the <laughs> spirit is up there. Like, no, listen, this is going to happen. And it's going to happen the way we said it's going to happen. Okay. And this is your divine life purpose. And this is a great opportunity and you need to trust it and you need to get over the seven of cups moon energy you're currently in. Cause this is your emperor slash king of pentacles. <laughs> like that's literally the sass that I'm getting. Okay. So I'm going to pull one more card. 
and hope that they don't all fall on the floor, which has been a thing, you know, on my channel. I love to, you know, either clink it on the table or have them fall on the floor. <laughs> okay, so we have, okay, whatever card this is. Oh, we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person is trying to make you an offer and it's like your indecision is almost a decision. And they also want to like, you know, come together. They, they, I think they already made an offer and, you know, if they haven't, they're going to. And it's going to be very key that you, you don't put this off because like, again, they are your equals. So they, you know, treat them how you want to be treated. Like you wouldn't want someone to put you off. I'm not saying that's like what you're going to do. But if you see this video and you're like, who am I going to date next? And it's this person. And then a month from now, the situation unfolds, you know what to do. Trust. Okay. So we're going to, um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's, uh, we're going to pull from the Moonology deck and then we'll do your pendulum swing. Just want to get a little, you know, moon advice since we are approaching a full moon here. Also, this video is timeless, you know, but that might resonate with you if you're not watching this during a full moon. Maybe you're ruled by the moon, cancer type of thing. Ooh, we have expect a powerful change. New moon and eclipse. So yeah, expect a powerful, oh my fucking God. An eclipse is ending since that has been going on since July. It's ending like tomorrow or today or something. And this shit has been in the air, in the vibe since fucking July. I knew there was some motherfucking thing like lingering up in there. I was like, are we in a retrograde? What the fuck's going on? Um, Cause the dating world has been weird and it's like, you know, it's the readings that I do, like the energy has been weird, but everything I'm doing this reading is so fresh, so good, so new, love it, so loyal, loving it, you know, so expect a powerful change, literally could be having to do with that, that's gorgeous, ooh, surrender to the divine, surrender, you're so funny, you guys, little control freaks love you okay so we're going to pull from this pendulum and then we're gonna figure out what eye color they have <laughs> because you know as for hair color is very objective they could have brown hair blonde hair literally white hair beard all of it you know they could be ginger okay so for group number three we have two weeks um one month three months and six months when is this person coming into your life and if they're already in your life, you know, when are they going to offer you a commitment? So if they're in your life, this is going to apply to a commitment. If they're not in your life, they're going to come in at this time. One month. Oh my God. Yes. Coming in hot, coming in quick with that commitment. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Okay. So we have one month for y'all. Let me put these somewhere else. And then we're going to, I don't know. We're going to see what eye color they have. I just kind of started doing this and then I was like, well, this is kind of stupid, but <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. Cause all the other groups have done it so far. So want to be fair you know how it goes okay so what color eyes and again guys it doesn't have to actually be this way but what color eyes does your person have hazel or black brown green and blue and before you attack me i know hazel and black are very different but that's kind of like you know the in-between colors it's not like unlikely Isn't this so cute, guys? We're out here being so psychic. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so they could be green or brown or something in between. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Okay, so group number three, thank you so much for joining us here 
on the channel. I hope you like that sort of thing. Comment down below if that resonated or if this person's already in your life. Don't forget to like or dislike. Hit subscribe. And right now I am booking for January. So all you have to do is go down the description box below, send me a little email, and I will work out the rest for you. Okay? Love ya. Hi, group number four. If you chose this pink opal, this is for you. So we have... For who you're going to date next, oh my gosh, we have the High Priestess and we have the Magician. These are very beautiful and powerful cards. Wow. Okay, so we have the High Priestess and the Magician. Damn. So the person you're going to date next could be a feminine or masculine, pretty much for all of the groups that literally was like one card was masculine, one card was feminine. Um, and all the groups, you know, there's a lot of positive things coming for all of you. I'm very happy. Um, so high priestess and magician, this person is going to be very spiritual, um, right off the bat. I mean, they're going to be, they, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if they walked around with some kind of crystal around their neck, some kind of, um, some kind of something, you know, maybe a fucking owl for all I know, but <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> that'd be like low key kind of cool. But anyway, I just see this person as being very intuitive, um, very connected to the divine. They might also be into tarot. I know that you're into it because you're watching it, but you know, they might also be very aware of all these different spiritual practice practices. They might be a healer. They might be an empath. They might be someone that literally um, is an alchemist and works with um, different types of herbs. I'm low key for some of you. I'm getting that they grow weed. Um, <laughs> Um, they're just cooking up all sorts of types of shit, you know, they're just, they're just on to like otherworldly things. Like they know that they have like the key in their hand to kind of manifest and unlock whatever the hell it is they want to do. And, you know, I really see that they want to do this with you. Um, I'm almost getting that he wants to give this like potion to you or vice versa and not like a literal love potion, but just like they really, I'm getting this vibe of they really just want to take care of you and mend you and heal all your wounds and just like listen to your problems. Really like beautiful energy, not going to lie. Um, and this person also like side note might be very fucking stylish. You know, they might be wearing stuff that you've never seen anywhere. Like it ain't your average fashion Nova type of bullshit. It's literally like, where did you get that? Where did you get those shoes? where did you get that coat type of thing? Um, and they're going to want you to kind of not dress the same way, but they're going to want to like, I'm just getting like lavish you in all sorts of kind of goods, whether it's like emotionally or spiritually or in the 3D world, like materially, they want to give to you um, and add to you. Um, and I'm seeing that they're really going to um, see you, at, they're really going to put you on a pedestal. They're really going to see you as a prize. And I don't mean that in like a derogatory way. I mean that in it's like they know that they manifested you type of thing like they they don't settle for anything and they did they waited a long time for this person which is going to be you and they they're going to know that they like they manifested this with the high priestess and magician it's like um yeah that's my person I know I I picked her out like type of thing like I think they're very connected um to spirit and I also kind of see them being very wise very mature um, for all the groups, pretty much everyone has like a, a level of maturity that they're bringing to the to the table. And I think that's really beautiful because um, it's definitely a shift in energy um, from, you know, I think 2019. Where there's like a lot of tribulations and people falling off because they are just immature and not ready for relationships. And this is like a general energy I'm just getting as a reader. We kind of notice certain synchronicities within our private reads, within the general within what's out there type of thing. And I think right now the mood is that who you're going to date next is for everyone. It's really going to be different than what they've been getting. It's going to be someone that really actually deserves them and is actually an equal and is actually um, going to value you. And I think that's magical, <laughs> clearly. So I'm going to pull some Oracle cards here and I'm going to do it in front of you guys so you can see the magic. Okay, because shit, this literally like lines up all of this. It's so funny. And I feel like sometimes you guys think I'm, I mean, no one's ever said that, but I think you guys think 
that I'm like looking at this stuff ahead of time and not. Okay. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Love it. So fuck yes. Yes. Ooh. They like when I sing to them. We have within the next few months. Oh my God. And we're also going to um, pull from this little pendulum swing that I have and figure out, you know, literally like when are they coming in and if they're already in the picture, when are they going to offer a commitment? That kind of thing. Okay. Ooh. We have weight. So maybe you guys are also this magician. You know, maybe you guys are going to attract each other. This is going to be like a high vibrational soulmate and like maybe you guys have been putting in that work with the manifesting and you're getting a little impatient <laughs> you're probably like okay who like and it's it could also be like I'm seeing like a situation where um you're like you, you know you might not have anyone new in your life and you're thinking like huh <laughs> how is this gonna pop up out of nowhere in the cut and it is and they are um, within the next motherfucking few months. So just wait a sec, sis, because, um, yes, the divine sees you. Yes. Your manifestations are working with the magi magician. Yes. You're this high priestess and, um, yes, you're going to get what you've been asking for. So I see a little impatience, um, which understandably so, cause I know how it feels to be like out here manifesting and you're like, um, tick tock. <laughs> okay. We have abundance. So this person is going to, like I said, they're going to bring a lot to your life, a lot on every freaking level, you know, just the whole thing. I also realized that I didn't pull these for the last group, so don't tell them. Shh. I'm so sorry, last group. <clears throat> so we're going to, you know, get more into like what this person is like. Ooh, definitely powerful. Um, oh my God, we got love, love. Okay. <laughs> and maybe they sing because I'm getting sing a lot here. I mean, I'm not getting sing a lot, but I, I'm singing a lot. <laughs> okay. So love, there's definitely going to be love. Exactly. Love and abundance of love. This is really, really peaceful and really beautiful energy. Oh my God, guys, I put this card back twice because I like didn't want to deal with it. No offense, but it's fear and it keeps coming out in reverse. So I'm being called to talk about it. But fear in reverse is like, maybe you're, um, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And then we have love. So it's like, maybe you guys are afraid to love or um, you've been afraid of love in the, in the past. And you're really coming out of that and you're really opening up your heart chakra and putting yourself in a position with the high priestess where you're open to receiving love, really trusting your intuition, trusting that your manifestations are going to come through. And also I'm getting that this person is going to teach you to be fearless. You know, they're going to tell you that they are going to hold your heart in a very high regard. And, um, look at, uh, look what just popped out. They're going to hold your heart in a very high regard and, um, they're going to treat you right. And there's going to be nothing to fear. We have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly in purpose. I know what I am here to do. So it's like this person really is, um, you know, you're going to trust them. You're going to love them. They are your divine purpose. Again, they're like your destiny. Like all of you guys are not even, you're just jumping into relationships with your fucking soulmate. Like all of a sudden, I love it. Love it. We out here 2020. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just see this person as someone that's going to really, um, take care of you in every way, shape or form. So let's kind of see what, um, you know, they could be a Gemini. Um, I'm not sure what the high priestess is. Ooh, we have the moon again. We have the 10th house, your achievements in the outside world. Yeah, I think this person is going to be very, like, powerful in some kind of way. Wow, we have freaking Gemini. So they could be a Gemini, you could be a Gemini. Have Gemini in your chart. Scorpio, you could have a, you could be Scorpio, they could be Scorpio. Have Scorpio in their chart. Um, yeah, I see this person as being very influential. Holy crap. 
in a very unconventional way. So yeah, this person might really differ from your usual type. They might be like a super hippie type of thing. Um, but I see them really taking care of you here. We have sensitive emotions and revealing your true self. So this person is really going to um, like reveal your true self, I'm seeing. Like, no, you. They're going to, um, and it might make you guys... You might be very sensitive or you might be like um, in a place or position where you meet this person where you're like, you do not want to feel so vulnerable and so exposed because you're having like um, trust issues I'm seeing just with people in general. And this person is like in a very unconventional way. They're going to kind of like reveal your true self. Um, they're really going to like make you comfortable enough to like want to bring, you know, yourself out there to them like you know I think I just see this person being very nurturing and they're gonna really wow this is so beautiful this is so powerful they're really gonna take care of your soul and like your mind and they really care like really conscientious like who is this person what the hell um you know and they're ready they're ready for relationships so they're gonna like want you to be ready to um they yeah, they're just, they, they just, you know, they, they're going to expect trust from you, I'm seeing. Okay, so let's figure out what their eye color is. Their hair color could be anything. Like I've been saying to all the groups, it's like literally could be blonde, dark, you know, doesn't matter. But for just shits and giggles, we're going to do their um, eye color. What eye color will this person have? And again, it doesn't have to be um, for group number four. And then we're going to figure out, you know, when they're coming in. green okay so they could have green eyes you know that's going to be something to look or blue what the fuck okay green or blue <laughs> that's going to be something to look out for now we're going to figure out if they're coming in one month six months two weeks or three months okay so when is this person coming in and if they've already come in, when are they offering a commitment? Three months. So within the next few months, for sure, for sure. Okay, so gorgeous. I'm just going to pull a few more tarot cards because I realize I didn't really do that. And this is such a beautiful deck. We have the five of cups in reverse. So I think this person is just like, you know, they're so conscientious and they're so loving and sensitive because they've been through it and they kind of know, yeah. They know what they want. Maybe they went through a dark night of the soul kind of thing and they came out really on top and um, maybe they went through, you know, maybe someone broke their heart and they had to really go inwards and figure out who it is they wanted to be. And they decided that they wanted to be an open book and they wanted to um, conquer fear and all of these stupid blockages that get in the way of true divine love and they're going to be ready when you meet them they're going to be at the top of their game very powerful um just very um different in a vulnerable and just very gorgeous way whether they're masculine or feminine they're still going to embody those traits but they're going to like you know be open to love and trust so very gorgeous energy group number four i hope you like that sort of thing Please comment down below. Tell me if it resonated, like or dislike. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I am booking for January. So if you want to send me a little email, um, little, have a little chat, we will figure out a private reading for you that works. Okay. So I also just wanted to say that um, I love you guys so much. And thank you for all of the support that you've been showing me. Um, this has been a crazy, crazy ride. It's been about a month now. It's been a month and almost... A month and a half actually of being on YouTube so 
really exciting shit's going on and I have a ton of more videos coming for you. Okay, love ya, bye.